Hi guys, in this next video I actually wanted to show you probably the biggest feature that they added to the 18R2 and that is the ability for you to upload scripts to the remote which then would get executed on the Cobra firing system. So in this video I'm going to cover a few different things. First, I'll cover the location of the USB port, what type of file format and how you create the script files. I'll then show you the process for actually uploading the scripts to the remote and then what you'll see on the remote as an operator once you've uploaded scripts. And then the last thing I'll show you is what the process is to actually remove the scripts from the remote if you no longer want to have them on the remote. So the first area I want to cover with you is the location of the port and you can see it's on the side of the remote and to access it you just simply will remove or unscrew this captive cap so I'm going to go ahead and do that once you remove it it exposes the USB port this is sealed and it's waterproof now to actually upload the script to that port you simply will take a USB memory stick or device the device must contain a script file. The Cobra system accepts a single file format and there's several different ways that you can generate that file. One of them, Cobra has actually created a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet template that you can download from their site. They've also introduced a new application called Cobra Show Creator and that application enables you to create scripts with or without music. There's also the industry application called Finale and you can use that application to generate scripts and then save them to the single file format that is accepted on the 18R2. So the next step I wanted to show you was actually uploading the script to the device and what you'll see as an operator. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go ahead and turn the remote on. I want you to pay close attention to the display. Right here it says zero, 00. That means there aren't any scripts loaded on the device. You can actually take the USB and plug it in prior to powering up the device, or you can do it after it's powered up. And I'm going to do the latter. So what I want you to do is pay close attention to the display up here. And once I plug this device in, you're going to see a flash of red. And that's the actual remote reading the script file. And then once it's done reading it, if it successfully uploads it, you'll see this turn green. If there's an issue with your script, it actually will display red. And then you'll see error codes down here below. And they have a list of the error codes on their website that you can simply refer back to and make the appropriate changes to your script to address those problems. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the memory stick and you saw it did a quick flash of red and then it's green. That means the script loaded successfully. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove the memory stick. I'm going to turn off the remote and then I'm going to turn it back on and I want you to pay close attention to the display again after it runs its test sequence there you see zero one that means there's one script loaded on the device to further demonstrate that look all of a sudden I have all these red cues it's actually cues 1 through 12 why do you think that's happening well the reason for that is the single script file that I have on the device is expecting continuity across these cues so that's cues 1 through 12. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my 18M module. I want you to pay close attention to the display on the remote. And once it establishes connectivity, you can see now it shows I have continuity across cues 1 through 6. And that's where I actually have put some consumer igniters. So you can see it actually will show the continuity and then these are the other cues that's expecting it but I don't have the continuity. 
So that's the process for uploading the script and what you'll see. The last thing I wanted to show you is how you remove the scripts. So to remove scripts from the 18R2, there's actually two ways you can do it. The first way is you can actually load a script file on the USB device that simply has the word end on it. You plug it into the device, it'll read it, and then it will wipe the scripts from the remote. The second way you can do it, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you today, is you can simply press two buttons in sequence and hold them for 10 seconds. And it is the test button and the sync button. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you right now. I'm going to try to get my thumbs out of the way so you can see what happens. I want you to pay attention down here. And like I said, you hold on the test and sync button together and you hold it for 10 seconds. And you can see that it just flashed and then zero, zero. So that means it removed the scripts from the remote. To demonstrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. I want you to look real close. See zero zero. There's no scripts on the device. It came back up. You can see continuity. Of course, I have those wired, those cues, but it doesn't show the other row of cues because the script is no longer on the device. So that's all I want to cover today regarding the process for uploading scripts to the 18R2. Stay tuned for more videos about scripting. I'm going to do a series of videos covering Cobra Show Creator, show you how to generate scripts in there, what other features that application has, and then we'll do some mock-ups where I'll do some smaller scripts, I'll load them into the device, we'll fire them for test just to ensure they're working properly, and then we'll go outside and actually light some effects off with those smaller scripts. So thanks again for watching my videos and we'll talk to you soon.